My name is Sean Bradshaw, Technical Fellow of Sustainable Propulsion at Pratt & Whitney, a division of Raytheon Technologies. Aviation has the power to be transformative. Aviation connects people, grows economies, and powers freedom. Thermodynamics is the science of heat motion, or interpreted today, energy motion. So this is applicable to a jet engine. So when we design jet engines, we design them such that they use energy more efficiently. And what thermodynamics tells us is that you've got to run that engine, that mechanical device, hotter and hotter, while never sacrificing safety and reliability. So at Pratt & Whitney, we're continuing to develop advanced materials that allows this turbine component to run hotter. What's another way to improve the efficiency of this jet engine? One way to do so is to take that same motor and use it to power a larger and a larger fan. That fan will tend to push more air than a smaller fan, which means that there's going to be less energy in the jet leaving the turbine. When these two jet velocities are about equal, the engine operates more efficiently. The other way to make an engine more efficient is to use the same size fan, shrink the motor a bit, while still uh, delivering the power required to turn that larger fan. There's a direct connection between thermodynamics and sustainability. Thermodynamics tells us as we make engines more efficient, those engines will emit less and less CO2 into the atmosphere. We also need to do something else in addition to make our engines more efficient. Field engines that use alternate fuels or fuels with lower and lower levels of carbon. Those fuels can be biofuels. Using those fuels tends to reduce overall CO2 impact as a result of air travel. Over the next 30 years, the world is setting itself on an aggressive path to decarbonize its economies. Aviation is no different. Uh, with a rising global middle class, uh, we're projecting an increase in demand for air travel. And as air travel increases, if our technologies are the same without improvement, the aviation industry will emit more CO2 into the atmosphere, which can have harmful impacts on people economies, and national security. At Pratt & Whitney, we are working on advanced technologies for engines that we're going to field in 10, 15, and 30 years. And those machines will be more efficient while maintaining our stellar safety and reliability record. Those machines will also have the capability to burn alternate fuels. And those alternate fuels can come from several different sources some of them from uh, biological sources, and some of those fuels may contain very high levels of hydrogen and low to no levels of carbon. The combination of the two, highly efficient gas jet engines and low carbon to no carbon fuels will help the aviation industry meet its climate commitments within the next 30 years. In order for us to decrease our climate impact as global demand for aviation increases, that's a challenge. We will need forward thinking, creative thinking, always thinking though that's grounded in the principles of science and technology. At Pratt & Whitney, we really value our engineers and specifically, we empower our engineering talent to leverage their skills, capabilities, and passions to drive us forward. Central to that leadership operating model is empowerment. Trusting your employees to use their skills, capabilities, and passions to design engines that meet all of their requirements, particularly safety, reliability, performance, and ultimately, sustainability.